yeah, obviously it's a, they've had a tremendous penalty kill this year, and um, they pressure hard, and uh, they're they're obviously doing a really good job on it. So it'll be a good test for us, and you know our power play has been going good the last few months. So it'll be a it'll be a, a really uh, it should be a fun matchup, something we you know look forward to. And beyond the pressure, they they can collapse as well. How do you get around that, and, and maybe try to find a way to get movement and puck uh, inside that uh, sort of zone? Yeah, I think it's it's nothing nothing crazy. I think it's quick puck movement and then attack mentality, shoot and you know maybe uh, you know make your make your nice plays off the rebounds and, and find a seam when when they're scrambling a little bit. I think is going to be the key. I mean, I just think you know from top to bottom, all you know whether you're a veteran or a younger guy, the uh, D have stepped up and you know we needed them to and we're going to continue to need them to do that. So it's a great opportunity for the for everybody really and. Uh, you know, everybody's playing really well, and um, the biggest thing is, you know, I think they're just gaining more and more confidence and more momentum each each time they're out there. So I'm excited to see them play tonight and be good. How do you recall, if anything, about your win in this building earlier this season? Uh, it was a good come from behind win, and we took it in overtime. And, um, you know, they're a good team. They start, uh, they always start in this building coming out hot, and, uh, they have a lot of a lot of skills, so it's going to be a tough test, and uh, I know we uh, will be ready to go, so it'll be fun. What have you seen from Jack, who's going to get an opportunity to play here tonight? Uh, that's enabled him to be so effective, albeit we have not seen him for a little over a month now. It feels like. Yeah, I think he's uh, his energy and his uh, yeah, just his personality has been been pretty obvious uh, to see how uh, yeah how happy he is, how how encouraging uh, to to everyone and. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like he has a bad day. So he, uh, yeah, he's been great. Uh, been out to dinner with him a bunch, and um, got to know him quite a bit so far. And I uh, really enjoyed that so far. A great attitude if you're a goaltender. Not easy to do. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Uh, it definitely, uh, yeah, it's definitely hard to, to have that upbeat personality, and I think uh, it just comes natural to him. Uh, but yeah, it's good. Uh, it's good to add that to the mix and, and try to, uh, yeah, try to build off it. He's uh, he's really positive with everyone, all the players as well, and. And helping me out, so it's uh, yeah. Obviously, he's gonna get some chance to play again, and uh, he'll be uh, he'll be good. What would you like to take from that road trip down in Florida, and obviously parlay it into another good road game here tonight? Because that the club's been very consistent away from Scotia Bank. It seems this season. Yeah, it's an, it's important for sure. I think uh, in the past three games, uh, we've gone a little bit of a roll here, so you have to continue it and, and keep it going. And um, it's a, it's a big road trip for us for sure. Uh, PK is perfect in the last three games over the win streak. I think six for six. What have you liked about that and its consistency, albeit in a very small sample size? Yeah, I think that we've been really competitive on on the on the PK. I think before that, you know, we weren't happy with the, the results we were getting, so uh, just got back to it and you know reviewed some tape and um, I think that you know we're, we're building in the right direction on that. And uh, it's uh, the penalty kills a really important part um, of the game, so we got to be really good at it. The fact that we're in a battle here to make the playoffs is, is one thing. Of course, it is a major focus for us. But the other part of it is that you know, all season, there's been a lot of focus for us in terms of our need to manage Fred's workload. And um, you know, we want to be not just make the playoffs, but we need, want to be in the position that we can thrive in the playoffs as well. So we've got to manage both of those things and not making sure or making sure that we're, we're able to continue to press on here, not completely empty the tank and have nothing left for the playoff start. We've got to be able to manage that. And we've been very fortunate that we've acquired Jack Campbell and we've got trust and belief in him. And he's earned that through his time that he's played with us. And we need to be able to get some good starts from him. They'll split day, Thursday and Friday? One day at a time. Well, yes. <laughs> the opportunity to rest Rasmus, and I think back to Thomas Caberley's work. He sat 15 games, and I think he was 22 or 23. How important for a young teenager like Rasmus is it to sit back, watch, let the body regenerate as well? Yeah, I think there's a lot of value in that. Uh, you know, he, Rasmus is a guy that's played well for us since he's come here, and the circumstances have demanded us to require more of him than probably we would like uh, in this, at this stage of his development. Um, so we, we want to make sure that we keep all that in perspective. And I think that's worked in our favor that we, are, we were able to acquire Rosen, and it gives us additional depth there. Um, and the busy schedule being what it is in the NHL, uh, sometimes taking a little bit of a step backwards can help the guys for multiple reasons and uh, you know the rest recovery a chance to watch the game from a different perspective um, chance to spend more time with the strength coaches and the coaching staff all that kind of stuff so they'll get back in here soon